You're going to offer me four gold per turn, two resources. No. Now, the thing is, I actually could use a resource. Would you? No. Of course not. I mean, everyone does kind of hate me. I could stop being a warmonger. I know it's a crazy idea. <laughs> it's a crazy idea, but I could stop warmongering. And maybe people would eventually start to like me. Uh, right, we're going to chop that, because eventually that wood's going to go away regardless. Mm -hmm. uh, build me another trader. There we go. So in six turns, actually that'll work out very, or five turns, that'll work out really nicely with the Medieval Fairs. Beautiful. Oh, um, I do need Settlers as well, because I got the discount, but I need the Settlers, the Traders up and running too. It's very key. Maybe Launchpad. You know what? You're going to do a Trader, or Settler, after the Watermill is done being repaired. I like that. Quill, Warmonger, when did that happen? It never happens. Oh, denounced by Japan. It's not the first time they've done that. Still feeling relatively secure about that position, though. They're size 10. Not seeing much in the way of units. The thing is, the mountains make any warfare to the... Actually, any warfare anywhere, whether I'm going towards Madrid or to the west, very annoying. The only exception is if I declare war on India and just take Agra. That's the only non-annoying thing. Everything else sucks. So we're going to start on farms here just to try to get the, uh, the cycle up. You need another mine here to make a turbo industrial zone. You are going to... There we go. There's a promotion that is affordable. You have chopped that, which is great. Um, I don't think we have to rush to mine these hills because it's not like we have an industrial zone that's going to be boosted from that. First of all, do we have an industrial zone? Not yet. And if we are going to build one in Nabates, it actually probably will be over here. I should put a little reminder of that. Like so. So, I mean, I could go and mine those. Oh, there's a ton of stone to improve over here. Let's just go and do that. Someone just built the pyramids. It is the year 155 BC and the pyramids have been built. Of course, the year 155 BC and we have had catapults for, or not catapults, we have had um, crossbowmen for ages. May as well pick up celestial navigation now. Um, you're going to come down here and just help with the farming because that actually, that guy, that was his last charge here. Um, this will be this guy's last charge too, but... Let's work towards it. You are just going to fortify up on the borders over here. Many industrial zones going to finish soon. It's going to be very nice. <laughs> where did my name come from? You can check the fact. The fact explains where my name comes from. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do, 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 do. And all I ask is Technically, crossbows were used in ancient China for 15, 500 BC. Fine. Well, China's got a, a tech boost is all. China was playing on deity. Are we going to finish any of these anytime soon? Or another way to think about it. Is there any chance we're not going to finish any of these ever? And I should just build them as is? Maybe I'll just half build a bunch and then we'll see what comes up. How Am I in any way close to getting a great scientist? Uh, well, right now we have the most, well, no, yeah, most points, but an unmet player is making 10 great person points per turn for a great scientist. Jeez, I want. Okay, this is our frontline area over here with Japan. I really, that's the other thing I need money for. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and build a builder here while we've got the boost. It's perfectly fine. If I'm in doubt, just spam out a few more builders. Trade route's about to finish here, which will give us the boost to medieval fairs as soon as I start it, which is going to be nice. You'll start a settler now. 
I think that'll be the last of the settlers. I think I said builder, but I meant settler. Uh, no more missions on the map. That that's fine. Um, most science would be Stockholm. We're already running one to Stockholm, although you know more is always better, I guess. We're running one to Kyoto. We'll set up a trade depot there at some point. Uh, we Amsterdam is actually very wealthy, and setting up a trade depot there might be handy for the future. I think I actually am just going to send this for the plus eight gold. There we go. Medieval fairs boost. That'll finish one turn. Glorious. One, two, three, four settlers. I think that's actually exactly what I want. Also, I like that these are going to finish relatively close to one another. And it'll make the efficiency of switching our production later on a little bit nicer. Um, yeah, we could build those Alcazars too. Hmm. We may not need to go back to builder spam after this is done. And you're criticizing me for not having a lot of espionage. I could run more international trade routes. That's one of the things. If I send more trade routes to Japan and India and set up more and more of these trade depots, it extends the range. Um, so I can go further and further and further, which opens up some more options. Theater Square, housing, gold from each envoy. That actually could be a fair amount of money, Merchant Confederation. Professional Army... I do need another discount, but you know what? I'm going to get rid of this. I should have gotten it, gotten rid of it ages ago. Um, I'm going to do plus two gold from trade routes because the next big purchase I'm going to make, um, there we go, plus 43 gold, is in Carnifex is to buy this tile soon. So there's not going to be another upgrade for a bit. I do want to build two caravels. We're actually quite far away from the tech for caravels. Um, let's start on civil service. And we'll maybe try to half build it. Half research it. Dalian's about to finish its um, settler. I think we've got room for four places. Because there should be room for something in here. Ideally, we're going to try to place it in such a way that we can get an aqueduct. Can you aqueduct from a lake? Yes, you can. Good. So now that you're done that... Oh, it's trade routes from this city. No, oh, I'm being a dope. Yeah, let's let's get our unique building up. It's gonna be worth a lot. What the barbarian scout? Die. Oh, right there. Huh. Okay. I'm tempted to do that actually. Before Spain does. I mean, it doesn't look like a very strong city location. <clears throat> My god, it really won't have a lot of food. I'm going to be settling on the other place that's got food potential, unless I just farm these things, which clearly I will. I don't know if there's, there's like, sea resources. The fact that Spain hasn't gone and settled there makes me think it's not a super strong location. So yeah, I'm going to move up the coast. Um, I think this is fine. This will have quite a lot of overlap. Maybe over here. Yeah, over here is going to be much, much better. And actually a great site for a harbor right there. I like it. The only question is, does it still leave us room for another city above that? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Keep expecting for the pop-up for the Petra to come in. I'm hoping it's here, but they haven't actually started it yet. Hold the code for all the nukes. <laughs> what wonders are you pursuing? I don't pursue wonders. Wonders are a sucker's game. Actually, yeah, I really do think that. New Carnifex. Um, I don't need to rush to buy this, excuse me, this tile. Um, but I'm going to do it before I spend money somewhere else and forget. I will finish the settler, but then i got to get my ass going on um, on the set, on the campus. Actually, what I'm going to do with this builder... Okay, you've got enough builds. It's fine. You're going to go here, you're going to build this, then you're going to go here and chop that down as much as possible. So, let's... Go here and wait, and then next turn I'll move up and just blow up whatever's in there. And Amsterdam will probably clear it, but that's okay. Wonders only exist for the AI in higher difficulties. Well, that's true. It's hard to compete for wonders in higher difficulty and, and be safe. Like, 
after the fact, you can always go like, oh, I could have built this wonder. But a lot of times when you go for a wonder, it will be, you'll be beaten to it. Um, and um, also, you can just take the wonder afterwards by force. So why build it yourself? Let the AI with 40% bonus and free text build the wonders for you. And then you can just take it afterwards through superior human tactics. Yeah, my people are happy. I still don't know why, but let's not think about it too, too much. Um, boom. May as well build a workshop. I mean, more great engineer points is good. More production is good. Um, I'm building a couple of ships here. I do want to do, but I'm not going to build the galleys. Or the quadrims, probably. I'm probably going to wait until we get um, up to the... Uh, the dis. Oh, it's actually a good time for me to get off of education. Perfect. I'll probably hard research cartography because I think we're quite far away from building two harbors. Okay, so that's been cleared, which is fine. I don't mind that someone else cleared it. Just don't want the barbarians to linger. So we're going to core that. My scores dipped a little compared to everyone else. But that's okay. And lots of resubs. As the... Any other tips that I should check? <laughs> Tumsa sent in a tip and said, I'm late for the stream, and the first word I hear when it loads, of course, is Petra! Are you building it? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm building it right now. It's true. In a, in a city, you, you guys can't even see it yet. The city that I'm building Petra in, but I've been doing it in secret. So it's going to be awesome. That city looks like random, which is quite cool. We just got a big tip in. What's that? Yukofin, hey! Oh, have to go sleeping. Love your streams. Keep up. Oh, thank you very much, Yukofin. And thank you very much for your continued support, especially your, your Patreon support for the programming channel. Really appreciate it, buddy. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And have yourself a good sleep. I am going to name this city after a Twitch subscriber here. Baru. Excellent. Or maybe you pronounce it blank rue. Blank rue. It's possible. I see this as like a white rue, although there should be an X maybe. Like the, the rue that you make for thickening things. And the French word blanc, which you don't pronounce the C. Which always, whenever I played League of Legends, there was that character I'd always call it LeBlanc. And other people were like, what are you saying? Are you talking about LeBlanc? Oh, God. Or LeBlanc. <laughs> Quill's going to build the Petra, but India will reimburse him on the production points. Exactly. I'm, I'm contracting out the job of the Petra to India. That would be the best. Oh, my God. If Agra built the Petra, I would be so happy. Uh, so over here, I think I will start with the monument, because I think that's fair to expand the borders. But then we will be building a harbor here for sure. And actually, I'm going to make sure the harbor starts building. There we go. And then switch back over to the monument. That's going to be fine. And you're going to start starting with this with lots of food, which is groovy. Uh, we actually need to get a builder over here. There's a lot of tiles that really need to be improved. And we actually are a little low on builders, but I'm going to be switching back to builder spam as soon as the settlers are done. Do I want to swap out a civil service? <clears throat> We're actually not very close to getting a city to hit 10 pop. And I think it works out really well. If I just finish civil service, then um, we will have finished all but one settler. Um, and that's okay. It'll still have gotten the production boost most of the way through. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish civil service, and then I'm going to switch over to the um, serfdom. And then we'll start making builders again, which actually I could start working on the builders now. Wait. It's not, it's not Melissa Benoit? How do you pronounce her last name? The, the star of Supergirl, the girl from Glee. It's not Benoit? What is it? Oh no! It's probably going to be Benoist or something. It's going to break my head. Oh no. Uh, chop that, which is actually going to finish that, um, that settler early, which is nice. And then... Oh, I can't start on the campus because our, our our population dropped. Um, that's okay. That's fine. Um, we'll just kill time with something. Actually, I'll start building a builder. That's fine. 
<laughs> uh, I just okay. Um, a new episode of uh, Supergirl hit iTunes yesterday. I think it aired yesterday. Um, uh, it was called Supergirl Lives or something like that. And it was like I'm watching. I'm like, this is really, really, really good episode. Really strong episode. Um, apparently, it was directed by Kevin Smith. Um, and uh, his daughter had a bit role in it too. Uh, his daughter, who's named Harley Quinn Smith. Anyway, it was a fantastic episode. Really, really good. The second season's gotten a strong. The first, like, three or four episodes of the first season are really rough. But then it starts to get a lot better, and then, like, second season's been very, very strong. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to play this, place this settler. Um, if I built... Well, I can't, because they overlap. So I'm like, there's no way for me to get an aqueduct over here for functional housing, so we're not going to do that. I could stick it right there, which might not be bad. That's like the only place we can fit one more city in. Obviously, it'll be lots of overlap here, but a lot of the other overlap is with city-state stuff, and I can just take those tiles relatively soon. That's okay. I'm thinking about more coastal things, too, like right over here. Probably put one right here, and then one right here. Actually, before Stockholm's borders grow, I think I'm going to put a city right here. What? I, let me do this, and let me go into map pin mode. Um, with the... Uh, settler filter on. Thank you. So, I'm putting one here. Uh, which, there we go, city center icon. And then, oh, I gotta keep toggling back. This is a little bit annoying. Activate the lens. Add pin. Oops, no, no. Add pin there. There we go. And then there was a spot over here. Which I think I'm going to do. Um, although, I also want to settle in here. Or not? I kept thinking I could stick a city right in here and it'd be pretty good. I can build one here. An aqueduct over there. Now, these two marbles are already going to fall within the city border. It was... The deer, well, actually, the deer and its incense are going to fall within Dadling's borders. So, actually, I won't be building a city there. So, that's perfect, because I think we have exactly the number of cities, settlers I need to, to settle all those. Or I will in, you know, four turns. Because that's one, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful! Dun, 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 dun. What's this? A Spanish Inquisitor. Oh, I didn't expect that. Hey. Uh, Japan and Arabia are not at peace. Arabia is still alive with its 20 military strength. I think I think the cities don't count as part of that, and I think the AI is being unable to take Arabia's stuff. Can we see... Are these all Arabian cities? You're telling me you qu you can't take any of those. Okay. Um, yeah, there needs to be improvements here. I have only one build left on this builder. I don't think it's worth the investment to send him way, way, way over there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is throw a chop in right over here. Because it'll give food and production to new Carnifex, get it to size 4, finish the builder... Um, I'll, oh no, I can't finish the builder before civil service finishes and I switch over my policies. And I can't start the, I can't start the campus then. So I guess I'm not going to do a chop over here for new Carnifex. Unless it was a mark. Oh, derp, I still have stone. There we go. Yeah, Arabia has six science. That's why I keep hoping it gets destroyed. India and Japan have declared war on it, like, joint war twice now. To no avail. Meanwhile, Spain has a giant military, apparently. It must be a naval thing. But Spain must have a bunch of other cities somewhere else. They must have expanded. It's the only thing that makes any sense. So you have finished your settler. Your housing is a little tight. Might be nice to do that now. But we're going to get our... Um, 
We're going to get your unique buildings up. And I think we're going to have to make sure to originate. What? Oh, it's going to do that thing. Oh, is it the R key? Hot key is not working properly? That's what's going on. I think the CQUI mod make, tries to make some changes to hotkeys, but I don't think they went in properly, so. Um, I was saying something. Was I saying something about Spain? Oh, I think I was going to say, I'm going to have to make sure that my trade routes originate from cities with the Suki and Ice, or however the hell you'd pronounce that. Barbarian's approach. Where the hell is the Barbarian encampment? For blind people like me, there's a barbarian mode. To hot, it must have spawned from an earlier base. Okay. Since I'm sending unescorted settlers over here, I'm a little concerned. I mean, Spain still has no score, no science. So. Uh. I was, worried. I was like, it gives food, but no, it's just the harvest icon is dumb. There we go. It's always... Well, I mean, it's not dumb. It's, you know, a fixed harvest icon. I suppose that's fair. But it was a little disorienting because it looks like, you know, cutting wheat. And, like, harvesting stone gives food? I mean, I've heard of stone soup. It's one of my favorite little stories. Also, it's my favorite right. roguelike. That's Civil right. service. Done. Colonization goes away. We replace it with serfdom. There it is. Karen Van is still for tons and tons of cash. Conscription to save a few bucks. Inspiration for scientists. And we can get some money from Merchant Confederation as well. But no, I'm happy with this. Boom. Done. And, um... Guilds is build two markets. Our unique buildings are market replacements. So that will work out quite nicely for us. You can change this. Oh, yes, I know. Um, and you're right. Maybe. And I... But... It does default to the classic ones instead of the standard ones. And I'm assuming that's what's going on with R. But it is weird because it half looks like it works and half doesn't. So anyway, I went back to standard. So we'll see if that improves things. Uh, dry meat shield... Do we want the workshop first, or... I don't think so. I think I will, in fact, build the encampment over here. And then delete the icon. Uh, now, you have grown to size 4. Excellent. You are going to build onto me a campus. Plus 5 science, baby. Boom. And the new builder is going to come over here and... Chop, chop, chop. Get that built as fast as possible. So that's fine and safe. Maybe I'll move over here and just guard this area. Oh, it's a trader from Amsterdam. Very nice. I'm sending a trader to Amsterdam. And you still want recruit a great general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to get any uh, winged hussars this episode. Oh, it's Germany. Oh no! I'm Poland! That's okay, I have more military strength in Germany. Slightly more science as well. And a higher score. Uh, so cartography, I think I'm just going to power through. Because I'm unlikely to build two harbors in a reasonable amount of time. And in fact, I would very much like to get um, some caravels out sooner rather than later. We're going to build a city over here. Um, yeah, see, that's one of the really nice things about renaming these cities is I can... <laughs> How do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce S-Z-C-Z? -Z? I think the Z sound is more of a sh or something like that. Bidgo sh 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 Bidgo sh 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 Or, as I like to pronounce it... Big Robo. Much easier to pronounce. Da, 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 da. And Arabia, yeah, Arabia is still going crazy on the science. Um, so, I think we'll do the standard monument first over here. I think I actually will follow it up with walls, though, because it really is at the fringe of my universe. And what if um, this city-state, Stockholm, who are you suzerain of? No one! Oh, actually, that's quite nice. But things like things might change at some point. 
Or, um, and we need to get the borders to expand before we get some stuff. I think, while the city-state borders only expand as people invest, which I think is by sending envoys, I think it will be a wise idea for me to go and buy this tile before I lose it. I may want to buy more tiles here, although I can always steal them with an encampment as well. So, which actually... Encampment? Encampment! Takes up a valuable river tile, but earns us three extra tiles over here. Probably worth it. I suppose we could do it there too, but... That's fine. As long as we've got one option for stealing stuff, that's going to be quite good. Alright, what's your timer? Oh, we're at 3.59! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, you guys! We should have the Turbo Campus up so long ago. But it'll go fast. We're going to do a couple of chops over here. I mean, the jungle will only give us half production, half food. The forest here will give us full production. And um, can I chop that forest if it's not on my borders? I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll see if we can't get this to boost a little bit more. I always send the drunk advisor into combat because he's drunk and won't feel pain anymore. There you go. Trade with Germany before they denounce you. Um, I don't know where they are. I don't think I can find out. Um, send a delegation. Welcome them personally. Excellent. See, we're going to be friends with them. They don't know about my warmongering, so, you know. Okay, you would like two luxuries, of which I have extras, in exchange for one, plus a little bit of money. You know what, Germany? That sounds great. Diamonds are um, a girl's mean to create industrial drills. There you go. So, I appreciate diamonds. Okay. I think we're perfect. I, I'm liking it. Yes, the pins are built into Civ 6, which, oh my god, how good. I gotta say, like, there's a lot of things I do critique about Civ 6, especially user interface-wise. Um, the strategic view in Civ 6 is fantastic, much better than Civ 5. The built-in pins are fantastic, although it's worth noting that um, CQUI has enhanced the pin view to give more icons and things like that. Um, and the the built-in vanilla ones still have a couple of glitches every now and again. So um, the mod makes the pins better, but the built-in pins are there and they are very good. And I love the fact that they exist. Um, so you're going to do that and go there, which is swell. Hang on, are we short one settler? I'm trying to remember. We got one here. Do I have one out in the field? Oh, yes, I have one. Okay, good. And then you're going to go over here. I don't have a pin for it, but there is a spot that's settleable over there. Um, and that's going to be good. Yeah, you've got German caravels buzzing around. Okay. <sighs> tech. Our tech isn't actually so bad. Um, it could be better, of course, but it's not so bad. The, pr the big problem is we can't easily wage war against Japan unless we come in through the south here. Or India. Because of all these stupid mountains in the way. Even finishing off Spain isn't convenient. So we actually may be forced to turn to a pure sort of production slash science mode to win the game rather than just, you know, conquer. Maybe pull and can into space. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, and that's going to be tricky because the AI gets a huge boost to production and science. And the question is, can we outpace that through better positioning of districts? I don't know. But... That brings us to the end of the stream. Thank you very much for watching. Next live stream. Uh, next of my live stream is going to be on Saturday. Um, and we will be playing Urban Empire on Saturday. We will be continuing the run, the 10 episode series that ha I had done for a sponsored thing. A lot of people want me to continue that. So we're going to be playing Urban Empire on Saturday. Um, and although if you do want to stick around in about, I think, an hour or two. I don't remember. God, I should know these schedules. Briarstone's going to be streaming. Um, and he's either going to be streaming Europa Universalis or potentially XCOM. I don't know what he had decided to do there. So um, stay tuned for that. It will be auto-hosted from over here. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.